Hey, it's me. And welcome back to my channel. Welcome, welcome if you are new here. Happy Blackity Black 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 Blackerson History Month. <laughs> Happy Black History Month! <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we're gonna talk about February's perfume tray, but I wanted to real quick talk about the seven fragrances for the last two or so weeks of the month that I just used quite a bit. I, <laughs> I feel a bit like a broken record when I say this, but these, some of these fragrances I've been talking about for the past month, okay? It kind of is what it is. What I grab is what I grab. What I don't grab is what I don't grab. So let's skirt, like, skirt, skirt through these real quick. And then we'll hop into the February fragrance tray. So does anybody want to guess the first two fragrances that I continue to wear? I'm going to give you a few seconds because I feel like it's an easy guess, you know? Did you guess Navitus Parfums Lost in a Dream and Parfums de Marley out there? If you did, ding, 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 you are correct. Guys, I, these just have me in a chokehold right now. This is an amazing fragrance. The dent that I have in this fragrance. Wait, whoa, hold on. Oh, I. The dent I have in this fragrance is starting to dent in a way that I know soon enough I'm going to relax. To be fair, I don't think I'm going to be wanting to wear this when the heat hits anyway. It's just extremely strong. Uh, the sandalwood in here is one of the strongest and creamiest in a milky way, not super thick way that I've ever smelt in my life. Think a lot. Think the Zadig and Voltaire's. This is her sweeter, spiced. There's bready is such an ewy word, but bready sister. Oh no, delicious, delicious, sexy, kind of sexy, kind. I would even. You know what? It depends what I mix this with. Because I could just make this even more gourmand or I can make this sexier. This. <laughs> anyway, moving on. This is another one that just has me in a chill cold and the dent is starting to get obnoxious in this one as well. This is a warm, spiced, sweet fragrance that just dries down in a, a hug that is tight like it's not just like a like a little hug and it's a little close very close to the skin it does have a bit of projection and i feel like the longer i have it the more it projects i'm just thoroughly impressed this is a fragrance that fragrances in a way that many fragrances don't fragrance like they used to does that make sense if that made sense hit that like button because we you know if you've been wearing fragrances for some years now you know that some older fragrances, like the, all these root formulations, a lot of them just make things more watered down. It is what it is. I've learned to accept it. And sometimes I don't mind the watered down version because sometimes it's like the first one was nuclear. So, guys, I've been really loving this. For a little cheapy fragrance, it's slaughtering the girlies. This is Sabrina Carpenter's Sweet Tooth, the second one. So this is Caramel Dreams. Deli delicious. This is a gourmand that's for the grown girlies. Because the patchouli in here is heavy. So if you don't like patchouli, you're not going to like this. Because I've heard some people say, oh, it's so good, but the patchouli is too much. The patchouli is what makes this fragrance so fantabulous for me. It kind of reminds me of the fragrance that I'm about to talk about and add to my tray. It doesn't smell like, but the energy she gives off is similar. Delicious, sweet, patchouli fragrance. My scent of the night is just booming in my face right now and I'm loving it. Mm. 
this fragrance paired with another fragrance has gotten me so many three compliments in one day recently my video with miss lulu i will be discussing this with this combo it's insane this is chic shuyok luxe edition i probably butchered that this is <sighs> smells like a sibling to kayali sweet diamond picked pepper the scent trail on this is insane the smell is like beautiful like, like like it's sweet creamy in a leathery type of way not a lactonic way and with some spices in it oh it's so good oh just go buy it it's like under 30 dollars. this is so well you have to be cool with like a, a, a sm very smooth leather but if you are this is just going to blow your mind it's a sweet leather with some spices in it but it's not obnoxiously spicy so freaking good this is look do you see the dent i've already started to put in this and this is one of those fragrances you cannot spray too much like i said it's in the dna of kaoli sweet diamond pink pepper you cannot spray too much of this or you're going to give yourself and everyone around you in about a six mile radius a headache all right i warned you Guys, I, I've been loving this since I purchased it. This is Nishit by Latapa. They're dupe for Nisha and Ani. I don't really feel like I have to go in depth with this. This is a beautiful green sweet vanilla. Chef's kiss with a little lemon running through it. Do you see already that I have already, that I have already, that I have already put a dent in a this fragrance? Monsera Roses Vanille, I understand why the girlies sweat you in the manner that they sweat you. Easy. Easy grab and go. Easy. I don't even think this is going to bother me too insistent, like incessantly in the summer. I feel like I'll be able to wear this in the summer and just do lighter sprays. This is a beautiful fragrance. Everyone knows about this fragrance, so I don't feel like I need to really go in depth about it. Just know I grabbed for her a few times. Just know she layers really well with many of things. I mean, this scent profile is nothing special. A sweet, beautiful rose fragrance with some jammy-like textures to her, but creaminess as well. Oh, gosh. I know this scent profile is so regular regular. But the way they blended it, it's really about the blend a lot of times when it comes to fragrances. Not only the quality of the ingredients they use, but the blend as well. And this... Roses Vanille. So the last one. Club de Nuit Imperial White. I... This is a Delina exclusive dupe. Beautiful for a fraction of the price. Can nobody tell me nothing. This is a lovely fragrance. This is a lovely fragrance. This is a fragrance that just makes me feel attractive. Makes me feel put together. Makes me feel all of the grand things. Even if I do not have a wig on my head. My nails are not painted. My face is not beat, my clothes are not all put together, and I have no jewelry on. I still feel good about myself. Although, half, most more than half the time, if I'm wearing this, I just feel the urge to do like an extra razzle-dazzle. Extra razzle-dazzle. So, with that in mind, these seven fragrances will be going right back onto the tray. Because, why the heck not? They just had me in a chokehold this past month, and I might as well enjoy them. And I feel like a good amount of these are probably not going to be grabbed as much in the warmer weather, so I might as well enjoy them while I can. Now, I feel like this tray is going is to be smaller than last month's tray. That's fine. I'm going to add here YSL Libre Intense. I've been finishing off perfumes at a rapid pace now that I've decided... I'm going to not be scared to finish off my bottles just to do Project Baku. Because it's not Project Pen. It's not a pen. So we're going to do Project Baku. We're doing Project Baku. 
um and because i'm i started to amass quite a few one fluid ounces those are just easy to finish off as an over sprayer right hi my name is over sprayer <laughs> um so finishing them off when i was more than halfway done is easy when I, I just let go of the it's fine like it's fine if it finishes off oh gosh it You guys know why I sell Libre Intense. It's Kayali's Vanilla 28 mixed with YSL Libre. Not exactly, but very close. Beautiful, RNG, sweet, warm, lavender scent proof. Oh, good. Good, 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 good. This is the fragrance I was talking to you about that Sabrina Carpenter's fragrance uh, reminds me of. They don't smell similar. But the vibe, it's 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 that sweet patchouli. Now, I believe there's toffee in this one, and in the Sabrina Carpenter is caramel. But that note gives me similar vibes. The uh, they're like sister scents. This is just so wonderful, and it has like pear in there. I'm probably going to finish this fragrance as well this year. Oh. So I'm going to be adding that. I probably will end up repurchasing that one. It's a really good price point and it lasts long. It smells delicious. It is a gourmand, but it's one I don't have an issue with wearing in nighttime of, of summer, you know, during the day in the spring if I'm staying inside because uh, that's a sweet fragrance. So the bugs, them and bees, them are going to come for you. So take time. Guys, I probably will also finish this fragrance this year. This is the OG Carolina Herrera Good Girl. I just want to show you where the dent is. You see it right down here already. I like this fragrance. I've had it for a while. Because like I said, I used to be scared of Donna Baca. This is such a beautiful mosh posh of a billion and one notes. Lord, this... Ooh. Yeah, I can't be playing let me drink this. I got things to do today. Mm. There's a brightness in here. It's quite sweet. I think there's a fruitiness in this too. There's something sexy about this. Something a little dark, but also something very flirty and fun at the same time. It's one of those Mod Podge's you either get it, you get it, or you don't like that's that's kind of it some people don't get it some people do i love this heel thing i think i always get confused about i'm trying not, i'm gonna try not to get sidetracked but slight sidetracked i always get confused when people talk about like gimmicky because it's a bottle of fragrance i mean to call a bottle gimmicky is interesting to me because then the some people sweat packaging like, how can you sweat packaging and packaging gotta look a certain way? You're dashing that in the garbage most of the time. And there's bottles shaped like people's bodies. Like, the, the shape of fragrance bottles is so varying. And I think that could definitely help a fragrance stand out. I think this is just super cute. And everything does not have to be super simple. I know we went through this phase and it's starting. We're just now exiting the phase of, like, beige girl super simple not doing much like I, I just want all the neutrals i say that and i'm wearing neutral color right now my point is i never was a full-on beige girl because i do like color as you can see my nails them is red my toe them well my toes are always, almost always white with they're painted but my point is this is not a, something i would say like a beige girl a neutral girl or whatever is gonna love they want more simplified stuff this is just stylish to me this is those that love to pop out do the most something like this is hot it's fire i think this is iconic to be honest with you because who else dropped a stiletto shoe bottle I mean, it's so hot. I haven't even seen Lataf or any other Middle Eastern brand mimic this yet. So, I don't know. She's a hot girl. So, good girl is going on my tray. Of course, everybody to each their own opinion. I'm just stating mine. 
I'm gonna put one of my fade fragrances. Oh, I didn't really wear it. I think I only wore it twice this month. Um, this month. I only wore it twice in the month of January. Beautiful pear dessert fragrance. I think I'm slowly exiting the survival mode of mommyhood and slowly entering into the I can really start in truly enjoying this. My oldest is getting so much fun. And the things he says, I need to start recording like at all times to catch the intelligent, funny stuff that he says. He's so smart. And it's cool to have conversation, like attitude, whatever. I've never been afraid of attitude because I am full of it, always been full of attitude. So attitude don't scare me. Newborns are cute, but toddlers are fun. They make a mess of everything and they get an attitude and they don't like to eat or they like to eat too much. They're just extremes and they just find it hilarious. Anyway, now that I'm starting to really truly be able to relax into motherhood, this I don't mind starting to wear more. Because the point, problem when I, why I stopped wearing this, one, I didn't want to done off the buckle. And two, I didn't want to associate this with the struggle of the mommyhood in the beginning stages for me. So this is, did I tell you what this was? <laughs> this is, um... John Paul Gaultier's LaBelle. Body Al Oud Amethyst is going back onto the tray. I definitely grabbed this a few times for sure this past uh, month. So I want to put it back onto the tray. It's still very strong, but it's a wispy, airy, sweet rose, woody type of fragrance. Super lovely. It also kind of gives romance to me for some reason. She's going on to the tray. I didn't wear this. I think maybe I wore it once. Tom Ford's Black Orchid. Wow, I love this. I love this. I'm going to wear it again. This is definitely not one I'm going to just wear to be in my house or just be walking them all with my husband and kid. This is it's, it's just not going to be a thing. Um, so this has to be a date night thing, guys. I go on maybe one date night a month with my husband. So it's just going to be hard to wear this. I mean, and I just, my girlfriend, I mean, my best friend is also a mother and lives far. So I never see her to be able to do like a cool girls night. I have made a recent friend. It takes me about a year or two to warm up to people. I know that's an obnoxious amount of time. I'm one of those in extroverted intro. No, I'm one of those introverted extroverts introverted extroverts it's like i'm an extroverted person but i have introverted tendencies does that make sense if it does hit that subscribe button let me know down in the comment section if you're one of those people or you know someone like that like if you hit me on a good day which is more than half the time i'm cool but i have my days where i just count with people i also once i know you all oh, bets are off People who know me will tell you. So Tom Ford Black Orchid. I'm kind of hoping I'll get to do some fun stuff for the month of February and March. I'm trying to whisper in a friend who doesn't even live in the same, same state as me. Oh my goodness. In her head for us to go in like a little like spa day thing. I know it's so far for her to come and visit me. But like could do like a whole spa thing and she can get a hotel room and then we could do like something else the next day maybe like oh, it's still kind of cold i don't know maybe in march i don't know i feel like it'll still be cold anyway i want to go start going to wineries and fun stuff spas oh my lord anyway that's another conversation keep it moving i'm trying to keep this under 25 minutes torrid day let's see if i can wrap this up in two minutes torrid day is coming in from ultra tobacco vanille dupe i love this fragrance actually a lot it's just hard to wear this because the type of strength this fragrance has on me is it gives odin um the, the god uh, it's all-knowing all-powerful insanely scary type of projection and i just i love it but i know that it it almost smells like a chai with dry 
like a chai latte with dry tobacco. And I know that scent profile of very creamy, like latte isn't creamy. It's not, I know the scent profile is just not welcoming to a lot of people. So I, I, I love this, but it's hard for me when I decide to wear this. I just don't want to give anyone a headache or offend anybody, you know, for the most part. Ooh, two more after this one. This girly is going to go onto the tray. I love this. The type of smoothness this is, is like a syrup, but like a juice at the same. You know, if a pour a juice and it's a continuous flow, a, you dump like maple syrup and it's a thicker continuous flow. It's like the combination of the two. It's this boozy black uh, current, thick deliciousness. Oh, I'm hitting the point where wearing this on a daily is like, like on a, just living my life is something I could definitely do because she's strong but not sharp. She's very smooth. There is not one sharp edge to her. A little floral. Oh, it's such a good one. It's such a good fragrance. I love this. See, intense. One of the best drops, to be honest. And then I have two duas here. Foods and Vanille. If you've watched my channel, you know. This probably I got done off this year. I'm, listen... This is my year of trying to jump on as many collabs as possible. That means I will be hitting up mad people's DMs, emails, and that goes for, that's for brands and at, for fragrance content creators, fragrance YouTubers. Most probably won't even answer me. Most probably don't even know I exist, but I will do my best to get some. One of those brands I'm going to hit up that probably won't even answer me is going to be the dual brand. I have about 15 or 16 of their fragrances. I truly, and I've had about 19 of them, and I've liked, I like this brand. I, I like how affordable they are. I liked how often they have sales. I like the percentage of the sale. I honestly don't mind the price point already. I don't know if you guys saw, but Juliana Perfumes is doing a overhaul almost and one of the things they're doing is shrinking down to 10 ml and then adding 30 ml bottles and i feel like that is to compete with the dual brand because the price point of juliana perfumes is a little higher and it is a bigger bottle right now but it is a higher price point and their samples are a higher price point and they don't offer any other sizings so i feel like and they're technically x straight which should be on par with dua but because of the size of the bottle and the price, I feel like oftentimes it also gets compared to like Dossier as well, like Ocha. And the price point is, their price point is lower than that one. You know what I mean? So anyway, this is a boozy vanilla. This is their dupe for Emmy Clef's Note Vanille. A little powdery, boozy, super sweet. Like the booze is sweet and there's sweetness in there delicious it's quite sweet but the booziness is quite strong in here so i feel like it is unisex it leans slightly feminine but definitely a little more in the unisex realm and then the last one is new to my collection this is bacore delight i want to play around with this one i'm a little rich wow i'm a little mm. Mm. this there's something in to my nose fruity in here it gives a like a i don't like the i don't think this is sharp it gives like a like a brightness in here it doesn't there's no claim of anything of that sort it, so people are saying the leather in here is maybe what that's given there but there's like mad incense smoke leather sugar milk i don't smell any milkiness yet but this is like i said very new to my collection but off rip first unboxing i love this i don't know if the unboxing is going to go before this video or this video is going to come but the unboxing of this is coming this is bacore delight which is their dupe for just set juice just set parfums uh gourmand bacore so i am going to at some point get a just set parfums fragrance they have a few bangers that people love and there's some i haven't really heard people talk a lot about but i'm interested in so yeah bacore delight that is my 
for January uh, my February fragrance tray guys I did that within 25 minutes like I wanted anyway thank you so much for watching this whole video please don't forget to hit that like and that subscribe button if you enjoyed this in any way shape or form whether you thought I did a little ha 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 for you or you saw some good fragrances uh you enjoyed my vibe my energy you like my look anything just hit that like button and hit that subscribe button let's grow together let's enjoy 2024 and hopefully i'll see you in my next video it's got his name look good feel good smell good have a great day bye